Hello everyone and uh, welcome back. In this session, we will be looking at how you can work with your uh, network load balancer. So here we will look at an introduction to your network load balancers and then we'll also look at an hands-on example uh, as to how you can uh, set up your um, uh, network load balancers. Now, network load balancers is uh, one of the type of load balancer that we have in AWS. So in the last session, we looked at your application uh, load balancer. Um, once again, before I start off with the session, please don't forget to hit that uh, uh, subscribe button. So the network load balancer, it uh, operates at the fourth layer of your OSI model, which is your open systems interconnection. So your application load balancer, um, it operates at your seventh layer, which is your application layer and your NLB, your network load balancer, it operates at the fourth uh, layer. Now your NLB, it mainly supports your TCP and um, uh, UDP traffic and your uh, NLB, it uh, helps you to handle millions of requests uh, per second. So the main advantage that you have with your um, network load balancers is that it allows you to handle millions of requests per second. So if you have like huge uh, traffic um uh, lots of request uh, from your customers that's where you can go with your uh, uh, network load balancer it really helps you to uh, improve the performance of your uh, application so after your load balancer receives your connection request either on tcp or udp it basically evaluates your listener rules and then selects the target from your target group for the default rule so uh, your NLB also works in the similar way as your uh, ALB. So load balancer will act as a single point of contact. If it will evaluate a listener rule as to the traffic is coming on TCP or UDP. And then accordingly, it will uh, uh, forward the traffic to your target groups. And then within that, it will send the traffic to your targets, which in this case will be your EC2 instances. And then you will also be having um, health check uh, configured with this. So your health checks are uh, very important. This is what uh, uh, tells the load balancer whether your uh, EC2 instances can process the request or uh, not. So your NLB, it attempts to open up a TCP connection to the selected targets on the port specified in the listener configuration. So your load balancer will receive the request. It will go to the listener rules. It will evaluate the rules and it will try to open up a TCP connection to the respective uh, target groups that uh, you have uh, specified on the port uh, number. Now, um, when we talk about your TCP and UDP, the TCP uh, traffic, it mainly uh, selects your uh, target based on your uh, protocol, the source IP address, the source port, destination IP address, destination port, and then the TCP sequence number. So these are the different, different components that your uh, TCP traffic uh, utilizes to um, uh, handle the TCP traffic. The UDP on the other hand uh, uh, makes use of the protocol, the source IP address, the source port, destination IP address and then the destination port. So your UDP traffic does not make use of the TCP sequence number to uh, handle the UDP traffic. Other than that, uh, all of them um, uh, make use of all the different components that we have to handle the traffic. But um, that's that's basically what your TCP and UDP traffic you have. Um, that's about your introduction that we have. Now let's uh, quickly look at an example uh, for this. So here I have these uh, uh, two EC2 instances. So these are the same instances that I'm using from uh, the example that we looked at your um, uh, application load balancer. So we have uh, uh, a simple HTML page running on server two. Likewise, I have a simple HTML page running on um, uh, server one as well. Now we are going to host this behind uh, uh, network load balancer. So we'll go back to the load balancers. We'll create a new load balancer. Now this time we are going with the network load balancer. So we'll click on create and we start filling in the uh, details. So let's call this as demo NLB. Again, we'll keep it uh, internet facing so that we can access it over the internet. Uh, if you keep it internal, you won't be able to access it over the internet. Network, we are going with the default. And again, the availability zones would be the availability zones where your instances are running. And again, the recommendation is to spread your instances. If you have more than one instance, uh, make sure you're running them in different availability zones. So minimum uh, recommendation is having in two separate availability zones. So I have my instances in US East 1B. 
but just for the sake of example i will i have also selected uh, us east 1a and then comes your uh, firewall so again firewalls are important same as your uh, uh, ec2 instances load balancer also has a firewall which can be used to control the traffic what traffic you want to allow what traffic you do want to allow and this is your listener um, rule so whatever the rule that you want to uh, uh, process you can define that over here so you have uh, tcp tcp udp tls which is your https so you'll need to make use of your certificates and then you have your uh, udp and you can define the port number and the target group so where do you want to uh, send the traffic so this is same as what we did for your uh, application load balancer so let me call this as demo nlb so this is going to be on uh, tcp and then uh, we're defining our health check so let's call this as index.html and um, we will set this to two thresholds um and then uh, every 10 seconds so uh, so healthy threshold is basically how many times do you want the load balancer to evaluate the health before telling that okay the load balancer is healthy sorry the the target groups are healthy that's your unhealthy threshold so if two times if you don't get a um, success response then the servers will be marked as unhealthy interval will be irrespective of whether the server is healthy or not every 10 seconds i want to evaluate the health and this is the uh, success code that we are looking for uh, next we are including our instances so in click on include as pending below and then create this uh, target group so this should create the target group and we should be able to use this with uh, the load balancer so here we will refresh and we should be able to see the uh, target group likewise if you want to add multiple um, uh, listener rules you can add that's up to you but in our case we are going with only one and then uh, we'll click on create load balancer and this should start creating the uh, load balancer for us so this will take some time and uh, so as of now this is in the provisioning state and if you look at the target groups if you refresh this this will be in the initial state that means the the uh, health checks is being evaluated now once the load balancer is created successfully and uh, once the instances become healthy we should be able to hit the load balancer uh, dns so here also you can see there's a dns that gets generated so this will act as our single point of contact the customers we can ask the customers to hit this uh, dns and the load balancer will receive the request and it will automatically divide the traffic between the instances running behind this load balancer so that's the whole point of having your load balancer which is to handle the load on uh, uh, the application that we are running on the ec2 instances now generally what happens is uh, just just for the sake of example i have this as uh, 22222 and this is 11111 but in real world both the servers will have the same application so uh, as a user when we hit the url some of the requests will go to server one and then some of the requests will go to uh, server two but essentially from the end user's perspective we are accessing the same application but just that the server is different all right so that's where we make use of your um, uh, load balancers just waiting for this once uh, this becomes available and the target groups uh, uh, becomes healthy we should be able to access our uh, application so let's wait for this to uh, become available okay so now you can see here the state it says active now let's quickly look at the health check so this is still in the initial remember the uh, health checks that we have defined here so we have said that we need two consecutive health check successes and uh, 10 seconds is the interval that we have defined so it will take some time but uh, uh, we should be able to see the uh, status as healthy now remember only if the health check is healthy uh, the load balancer will send the traffic to those servers if it is unhealthy the load balancer will not send the traffic to those uh, servers so defining our health checks and making sure your uh, uh, target groups are healthy that's very important if not your load balancer will not be able to process the uh, request so just waiting for this uh, health uh, uh, status as of now it is in the initial state that means my health checks are in progress so this will take some time so let's wait for that
and here you can see the health status it shows healthy that means my health checks have passed now if i hit this uh, uh, dns my nlp it will try to open up the tcp connection to those servers and forward the request to the respective ec2 instances so first my request is going to the second server and uh, let's see if it will send my traffic to the first server so you can see here my all my traffic is going to server 2 but at a later point if you try hitting my traffic may also go to uh, um, server 1 so it will try to handle that load it will try to uh, automatically take care of balancing that load on my um, ec2 instances but this is essentially what your um, uh, network load balancer is so once again your load balancer this will act as a single point of contact for your clients and then we'll have your listeners which are nothing but your rules so this checks for connection requests from clients using the protocol and port that uh, you configure and then for each of these listeners will have your target groups so these target groups is basically where the request gets routed uh, using the protocol and port number that we specify right so each of these target group will also have a health check which is used to uh, evaluate the overall health of your ec2 instances and only if the instances are healthy the traffic will be routed to those instances if not the traffic will not be routed to those instances so that's about your introduction to um, nlb and an example of how to work with your nlb that's all i have for this session thank you once again before you leave please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and if you like the video leave a like and please share the video